This is what happens when your SPDs, your surge protective devices, are very absent in your electrical connections. This is what happens. And this, and even this. <laughs> All right, so today we're talking about the SPDs, your surge protective devices. How important is the surge protective devices in your solar system connections? Is it really necessary? Can you afford to do without your surge protective devices, which is your SPDs? And how exactly does the SPDs function in your solar system connection? So if you want to find out about this and even more, then you definitely have to stick around because I will be right back. You're welcome back everybody. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And today we're talking about the SPDs, which are your surge protective devices. How exactly does your SPDs work in your solar system uh, wirings and configurations, all right? And how do you apply the SPDs in your electrical wirings? These are the information that is very, very necessary because we use these things without actually knowing what uh, it does and where we need to apply them. There are actually very three stages where you need to apply your SPDs. Uh, you need to apply it at the point of entry, which is where your grid comes into the house. All right, you need to also apply it at the point where you have your distribution area or your distribution board. So every house has a place where you distribute uh, the voltages to every part of the house so that you can segment it and make it easy for you to manage certain areas and certain loads. So that's a second place for you to put your SPDs. And the third place for you to put the SPDs is very close to your appliances. You can put it on your TV. Uh, some people use it to protect their very sensitive electronic appliances like your LED, uh, your washing machine, your computers. Okay, so this is the very third place you need to put your SPDs. So what are the functions of the SPDs? So the function of the SPDs is to stop the transient voltage or the surge from damaging your appliances. So if you're doing a solar installation, it is very important that you have your SPDs. Otherwise, these very, very bad voltages are gonna come in and they will leave behind them a trail of destruction as they go. All right, so it's very important for you to end, always ensure that the SPDs are applied in the right places, okay? All right, stay around everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe and be part of this community. We would love you to be part of us, <laughs> okay? So that from now onwards, nobody's ever gonna tell you what's going on in the world of solar technology. So you keep yourself are pretty much updated every single time and you know what is going on and do not forget to comment do not forget to like and do not forget to share we appreciate it so the point where you put this such protector is from your input and the output so you have the line in and you have the line out so the point where the grid comes into the house all right so where you have your what you call nearby in nigeria where it goes into the house uh, you put the spds all right, so the point where you want to connect that part because there has to be a line in from your grid to your inverter. So that point where you have that line in, there has to be an SPD in case of a surge. You could have situations of under voltage. You could have situations of over voltage. You could also need to delay the voltage before it goes in so that it slows down and lowers the load and it doesn't spoil your inverters, it doesn't damage your inverters. Then you also have the parts where you have the line out from your inverter. So there's going to be an output line out to power the house. So there has to be an SPD at that point because sometimes you have a breach, you have a surge, there could be a transient voltage that could come back and potentially harm or damage your system. So that's where you need to apply uh, the SPDs. This is a digital surge protector. The function of this digital surge protector is to protect your inverters input and output line out of your inverter is very it's very important so from your grid lining into the inverter there's a need for you to have an spd installed when you have the transformer regulating the voltage that come from the high tensions from the national grid there could be a malfunction going on somewhere and it could kick off transient voltages which are very harmful to your appliances all right, so this surge needs to be protected from the input as you're connecting the line in from your grid into your inverters. 
So this is equipped with over voltage protection, under voltage protection. So the under voltage protection is when the threshold of the voltage is below the recommended domestic voltage, which is usually below 220 volts. And over voltage is also when the voltage is above the threshold, which is recommended for your domestic use, which is 260 volts. All right, so any of this below and above the threshold that is recommended for the voltage is considered to be a very bad voltage that could potentially harm your appliances so you need to stop it so that's what this guy does so from the line out from the inverter which is the output you also need to install the spds right there because what happens is that if there's any breach or surge it will definitely come back all the way and damage your appliances. So it's very important that this is installed. So if you have any bridge or any spark or any form of fire in the house, you know that your inverter is pretty much safe. So this is meant to be installed both the input and output to protect the transient voltages from damaging your appliances. And this is pretty much what I like to. I use this a lot for my battery connection. So I do the lining from uh, the batteries in here so the lining from the batteries always passes through uh, this guy before it gets to the inverter it's very important and one of the reasons why you need to use this circuit breaker slash surge protector is the fact that because there's a lot of amperage going on this is a lot of batteries here okay so the amperage is a lot so you have a lot of current that you are trying to manage now what happens is that if you connect this directly because your hands are not steady once there's a little bit of some shake in your hands, there's going to be a spark and that in itself is going to kick off a surge that would potentially damage your appliances. I've had these kind of situations where it goes and it essentially damages your charge controller or your inverter. So you don't want this happening. So you need to be able to install this circuit breaker to give you a very smooth transition. All right, so these are your charge controllers. They are MPPT charge controllers. They are Schneiders, pretty, very good. Um, so we have these enclosure boxes underneath uh, the charge controllers to be able to fuse them both from the DC and the AC. Uh, so these are the enclosure boxes that houses the um, uh, lightning arresters and your circuit breakers for your AC. All right, so I'll just open it up pretty much. So there it is. All right, so these are the um, lightning arresters. So here is the lightning arresters. Okay, so you have three of them to be able to um, ensure that the lightning surges that comes when it's raining or when there is some kind of weather situation uh, from having access and going into the electrical connections and damaging what we have. All right, so that's what it is basically. So I have one of the lightning arresters here, and this is uh, it's a black color. So these are the ones that you have here are white. All right, so how exactly does this lightning arresters work? So the essence or the function of these lightning arresters is to insulate your appliances from lightning. When you have that big rain coming in and you have that huge lightning coming in, uh, this guy insulates it from your appliances, all right? It deflects the voltage. It deflects the lightning and sends the lightning down to the earth. All right, of course, you know that in the earth you have a copper buried. So whenever there's any kind of lightning surge, uh, this um, surge protector deflects it and sends it down to the earth, away from your installations, away from your uh, solar systems and your electrical wiring. So it's very important that this must have a presence in your solar installations to ensure that those transient Currents that come in do not damage your appliances. All right, fellows, that's all we got today. All right, thank you so very much for being part of it. My name is Ikena from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything in Vata installation, everything going green. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? We would love you to be part of this community, all right? So uh, click that subscription so that you are completely a part of this community. So from now, Henceforth, nobody's ever going to tell you what's going on in the world of solar technology. Do not forget to comment, do not forget to share, do not forget to like. So if there's something you're finding very difficult to figure out, some kind of puzzle that you're finding very difficult to uh, piece 
uh, the parts together. Don't worry, just make a comment. Tell me what that problem is and I will explain it to you in the very simplest of terms. I could even do a video for you so that it's easy for you to figure out. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next video.